So what's your favourite Pokemon? Hmm, I'd say based on my limited experience, probably probably Charizard, I would say. The correct choice. Hello everyone and welcome to a quick save video. I'm Mitch and joining me is Callum. Greetings. And my favourite Pokemon is Charizard or Lugia. Does that name ring a bell? Uh, the second one, yeah, does ring a bell, but again, it's just revealing kind of ignorance when it comes to this very popular Anyway, podcast. we're both ignorant about this because this is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Rescue Team DX. DX. It, cut, it, it cut me off. Yeah, so this is the remake of the, or remaster, of the DS game. Mm -hmm. It's basically a roguelite to Pokemon game. So let's start the adventure for the very first time. And may I ask where the DX comes from? So Rescue Team DX. Direct. Director's <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Sounds really Something cool. like yeah, that. It's, it's probably something obscure that... Welcome. We don't know what it is. This is a portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. Before I can let you through, I have several questions for me. You. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay, so we're opening with personal information. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it seems almost more like a... Personality quiz. Like I think it's outsides. A friend brought over something you'd forgotten. How do you thank your friend? Hmm. I mean, like, thanks? Well, like, if you forgot me, you'd pro I'd probably make a joke about it. Yeah. <laughs> this is my, do you like pranks? If they're funny. On vacation outings, do you want to? I'll go with others. Go alone and say you get murdered. Okay. Seems like a random question. <laughs> Do you like- I love grown inducing puns! Oh, this game gets me at a spiritual level. Scrape, how will you react? <laughs> I'll open it. I'm not scraping with something else. You come across a treasure, how do you react? Depends whether you're playing Dark Souls, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I want to open it. Probably open it right away, right? I mean, there's, that's... There's no option shyness. to to whack it. Like, you know, I just want to kick it or something. Just double check. A foreign person is starting up a conversation with you. To be honest, you don't have a clue what this fellow is saying. How do you reply? Uh, that's a dick move, because you clearly know. <laughs> there are no good options here. Right, well, I gotta go. Yeah. Like, no, those are right. Do you want to play as a boy or a girl? Right, a boy. Professor Oak. This generates my Pokemon. Oh, I see. You so appear to be yeah. the naive type. Rude. You are highly curious and love rare things. Don't be skiddy, please. This is this is too correct. Stop it. <laughs> you can also be selfish, and you should so you should work yourself. Sounds like astrology at this f***ing... Skitty! No! I didn't want to get... <laughs> no, that isn't right. Oh, okay, so you're not locked in. I'm not that's, locked that's in. Um, what would be your preference, otherwise? I'm going someone Are most people wouldn't know. Oh, Cubone? Nah. I'm going Trico. My boy Trico. Have you seen this Pokemon before? I have. I do recognise that one. Gen 3, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Yep, that's exactly who I am. I somehow knew it would be Skitty. Who do you want to be? Uh, let's go... Let's go classic and go Pikachu. Let's go Pikachu. <laughs> He's got to be there somewhere. Pikachu, yep. Your name or just Pikachu is cool. <laughs> I think we need to make him slightly cooler. I'm sorry, that disgusted me. <laughs> uh, back end. Yeah, Pikachu is a great nickname. Yep, these two are all good. Get you into the world of Pokemon. Go for it. We are now Pokemon. Entering the world of Pokemon. Officially. Where am I? 
Am I dreaming this? That's not something someone says. I feel a pleasant breeze. Hear a voice from somewhere. Wonder who it is. It's dot 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 dot. Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. I think that's you, actually. Ah, I see. Finally awake. Right, I'm going back to sleep. Uh. The art style's really nice, actually. Sort of like a... Not really a painting. Yeah, yeah, it's quite cool. I don't know what kind of part. Say you're a human, but you look like... A normal Trico in every way. Even though you're Pikachu, you should probably be... Being Pikachu, I'm Trico. <laughs> ah, it's, it's true. I've turned into a Trico. <laughs> but why? <laughs> don't remember anything. Um, you're kind of weird. <laughs> your name? What's your name? My name? That's right, my name is... Just so happened, it also happened to be Trico before I change. Oh, Trico is your name. Well, that's you actually. It's funny, no? That's my Pokemon name, you jerk. Somebody please help me. I hear shouts from over there. This is a very convincing Pikachu. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? What's wrong? It's horrible, my canopy fell into a car cavern. I almost said caravan. <laughs> that would seem slightly out of character. My poor baby. What? <laughs> a huge fissure opened in the ground and my canopy fell in. Okay, we'll stop doing our little <laughs> drama. He's too young to pull out by himself. Pokemon attacked you in a Pokemon world. But other Pokemon? Who would imagine this? <laughs> That's what I think. What am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. It sounds bad, we've got to help. Let's get him, Trico and Pikachu. Tiny Woods. Basement floor one. They call them mystery dungeons in the game. Every time, yep, very light. So the dungeon attack is necessary, we have to fight. Let's do our best, Trico. I mean, I know. Alright, so we're in. I know how to move around. It's grid based. Mm -hmm. You can actually feel it. It's a bit like like that Candence of Tyrol game. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, Crypt the Necrodancer. And both characters are moving in sync, yeah? Yeah. Oi. Okay, I did something. Did you? I am. Um, stop doing that, Pikachu. I'm trying to work out how to play. And uh, like, I guess I should talk about like it was quite expensive on the Nintendo store, like eighty dollars or something. Yeah, yeah, we were surprised at the actual at the actual price. Hmm. Yeah, it was a bit. I've got a feeling it's probably going to be too much for what you're getting. And like, we've only played this for the amount of time you've been watching this, which is like ten minutes. It's like, go on, Dale. Probably a button I'm missing. So you hold that for grid. You hold that for nothing. You hold that for that. Um, okay. I'm gonna actually read the instructions. Talk slash exam dash. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's basically fast forward. Right. No, why would I want auto mode? As in auto movement? Auto or? play. 
I mean, uh. Like, I don't get to do anything on it. How do I enable that again? I don't even remember. So it's all the way down. Okay, so combat seems incredibly basic. In fact, I don't even know how to attack properly. That's it. Hiya, hawa, whatever. Okay. Just speed our way through. So at this point, do you just have your basic attacks? So yeah. Is kind of abilities or anything? Yeah, this is probably the really basic tutorial. Yeah. So I should, I'm probably just gonna just force my way through it basically, because obviously I'm not really getting much of the experience out of this bit. That's not very effective on me. Enemy defeated. So I'm pretty sure you can't see the uh, where the stairs are. You know, it's kind of part of the exploration. Right. And the red dots, I think, are Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And what was your experience again with the original game? So the original Mystery Dungeon. I've never played it. Never played it. Right. No. My experience with Pokemon is quite different because I've played every entry in the series. Yes. Whether I remember them or not. What's your history with Pokemon? Very limited, certainly compared to, yeah. So I, I remember playing, I actually weirdly probably played more of the handheld games. Um, so I played some of the Pokemon games on Game Boy and that sort of thing. That's, not, that's not weird. That's the main place you play them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as in, like, I sort of never really played Pokemon Pass, probably like early 2000s, I would say, honestly. Um, so my recent experience with it is very limited. So, um, what was the last Pokemon game you played, and I guess finished? Hmm, I can't actually remember s specifically which one it would be. Which ones? Which ones would have been early two thousands? Like say, like two thousand four, five. Uh, so Ruby and Sapphire were the new ones. It may have been. I think it may have been the original Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah. I think I remember when I saw that they were doing because they did a Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, didn't they? Yeah. I've been quite interested in that, but I never got around to playing it. But yeah, my, my experience with it is, is much more limited than yours. Yeah, so that's probably either... So had you played any of the non-Game Boy Advance ones? I don't think I have. Wow. I don't think I have. That's actually very fascinating to me. <laughs> like, Pokemon Blue was the first game I played. Like, full stop. Right. So. Yeah. I think you Pikachu a Trico. I guess you recognise Trico then, because that's the one you played. Yeah. Which would have been Mudkip or Torchic. And the other choices. What about in terms of your experience with kind of more spin-off games and stuff? Uh, you know, Pokemon Tour. I mean, I know Pokemon Tournament. I a demo different, from Pokemon. But... Um, I played Pokemon Snap, which was quite actually a really fun game. It's the... Oh, cool. You take pictures of Pokemon game. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. it's better than it should be. <laughs> And guarantee that. Listen, Trico. Uh, I've played Pokemon Coliseum, which was the GameCube release. Right. Um, trying to think about the Pokemon spinoffs. Pokemon Channel, which I made new experience. Oh, yeah, which was um, horrible. anything but stealth. The worst <laughs> thing I've ever played. <laughs> this is the place. Wow. Can't explain it, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I mean, look. A human being would be pretty happy to be a Pokemon. Like, even for a bit. Yeah, it would be, um, it would be quite cool. Hey Shrieko, you're impressed, aren't you? I'm sure you'd like it. It's because I'm a grass Pokemon, it means you think I'll live in a tree. Even though that's what Tricos do. I didn't even see the fissure the canopy fell into. Don't change things like I live in peace, so uh how can you handle yourself so you rescue people? On a rescue team. Refuse. <laughs> it's very fitting for what they're gonna be doing. Rescuing people. Saving people. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, makes logic. Catch sense. mine. No! No! We're not this quick. Just quick. We're not this quick. 
We can also, once I get to the button, we can also save. I should really stop that from happening. B. It's a B. Uh, quick. Where's the A? It's in alphabetical order. Yes, it is. Yeah, we should be in a little while to run. Where's QWERTY when you need it? Quick save, okay? Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Quick save. Let me just look at that for a moment. It's a good name, it's perfect. I agree. Um, one more thing, I wonder where this is in the day. I've got two of them, so let's put them on. A scarf. Nice blue one, look at this. You wear it well, Trico. Do you feel focused like we're on the same team together? Rescue team, quick save! Thunderbirds I go. Bye. And what do we know in terms of this game as far as, you know, like sort of how long it is and how much replayability and that sort of thing? It's very light, so they're pretty replayable. Oh, okay. Lengthwise, I don't actually know. I'm sorry. Back to the start screen. <laughs> I'm very confused, game. Me too. Don't... Okay, I got this as... <laughs> don't go to something that looks exactly like the title screen. That was... Yeah, that was... Because really cool. all it does is confuse me, like... It looks as if we're going back to the main menu, man. Yeah, I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still a Trico. Why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Stop questioning it. I'm gonna team up with the... main Pokemon. You think it was Pikachu. If you're in a world that knows what Pokemon is, you know what Pikachu is. He's suffering from amnesia. That old trope. Yeah. Well, no, he's just an idiot. I think is actually what's going on. Does he not have a home? Oh, no, no. Anyway, come on. Start of our rescue team, let's do our best. Or our worst, because we might fail and let them die. Ha 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 Oh yeah, maybe there's something in the mailbox. I'm just giving me Pokemon Channel flashbacks. <laughs> Which is not a good thing. No, I need to be there to rescue theme starter set. A badge. And a toolbox. And also an issue of Pokemon news. Ah, this is a toolbox. This is carry items. I copy the Pokemon news. It's useful for rescue teams. You know it was that big. He laughs a lot. <laughs> flap, flap. So you don't know what Pokemon that is? I do not. It is Pelipper, which is also from Ruby and Sapphire. Ah, there you go. Oh, are oh. your favorites or no? Not that Pokemon. Oh, I've got to check the mailbox. I'm trying. Stop telling me to go one way. I guarantee it's an offer. Why does the mail go buzz, buzz, buzz? Hey, about you from Canopy, please will you help? Magnemite is in trouble. There we go. First job. Do you know what a Magnemite is? I do not. Wow. I know what Marmite is, though. You don't know? Oh, man. I have to make you play more Pokemon games. <laughs> this, right? That is a map. Thunder Wave Cave is delightful to say. Ah, here we go. So this is that's a Magnemite. Hence the buzzing noise. Yeah, my friends are in this cabin. Buzz, buzz, buzz. My friends should be on basement six F or basement six four. Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> We're going in. Get attacked, Pomerians. Thunder Wave Cave. Okay, so our first non-tutorial one. 
Whoa. That dash is kind of kind of disconcerting, eh? It's like <laughs> it's like we know it's a bit boring. I was trying to flank it. Whoa. Trying to make sure everything's the way it should be. There's no Pokemon here. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be very effective against Ball Football. Because he's an electric type. And so are you able to switch between characters on the fly in battle? Don't feel like attacks? I am. Right, so is this going kind of going one two one two? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so there are more moves. So there is a bit more depth to it. I want to start using different moves instead of just opening it automatically. A lot of more fag Oh, there's like a Pokeball or something. <laughs> there is a button to walk back. Take that. Okay, so next level. Underwave Cave, level 3. So, yeah, there's Rogue White Elements. Yeah. Which is good, because I actually I really quite enjoy this kind of thing. What am I going to do? Does it just auto? Okay, so A is automatically picks the best attack. Which seems... Oh, I'll one Okay. Man, lots of light. Like the buzz. Oh yeah, so you got the first move. Then it chose to use Absorb. Is there like difficulty options or does the game just default get harder? Seems to be a default difficulty setting, I think. I don't think there was an option to choose at the beginning of the game, was it? In the main menu? No, there wasn't. Okay, so it has to reset my stats before I go down there. This is the fourth floor, so we're getting near the um. Which button? <laughs> I thought it was like, oh, the arrow button. Oh, that moves me. Anyway, I want to play speaker. I mean, free curve. I got the first move. If I didn't instantly kill it, but Pikachu got my back. What are these wonder tiles now that it's sort of. Self-elected kid, Ella kid. Yeah. yeah, so Pikachu's now spitting. <laughs> <laughs> it really is like Crips never is. It really is. <laughs> we got the dancing involved. <laughs> Come on, Pikachu, let's let's do it. This will probably be the Trico's getting hungry. Oh, I'm hungry at mine. Oh, it's a Puccina. 
Kuchina. From the problem with Pokemon is you're eventually going to butcher some of the names. Yeah. Especially if you don't. I shouldn't pronounce them first. I should get Yeah, I wouldn't even attempt that name. Puchina. 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 And they're also, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's PP, which is the PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> oh. Over <laughs> there, how many moves you can use. Right, gotcha. But for now, is that you have four main abilities at your disposal? Yeah. You use, or yeah, four different options. Oh, yeah, let's get them out safely. Oh, we rescued Team Dungeon. Uh huh. First rescue mission was a success. It was. Good stuff. Our body separated. Biz, 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 let's rejoice. Yay. Yay. Be thankful, you two. You're our heroes. Thank you, Buzz, Buzz, Buzz. Got a big apple and an orange berry. You got 650. Problem is, uh, mag Magma evolves into Magnetron, which is only three combined. So one of them gets left out. Oh, right. There'll be an old one out. Yeah, unlucky. He just needs to find two more friends that want to merge into one being. <laughs> See you tomorrow. This is Pokemon Square. It's, it's sort of like a crossroads kind of vibe. Yeah. How do you pronounce that? The... Kecleon? Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Too many K sounds. C sounds. Kecleon. That's regular words. <laughs> it's kind of the vendors and stuff. What's the first? That's open. <laughs> yeah, these are too easy. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them together at the same time. Wow, Pikachu, aren't you just not? Kangaskhan. 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 The fact you don't know what that is is like <laughs> mind blowing. I didn't even let you pronounce that one. I'm gonna get some information on you Let's go to the Palapal Post Office. PPO. So does this game look appealing to you at all? So from my personal point of view, not overly, I would say, but maybe, I mean, maybe that's, you know, the fact that I just don't have a huge amount of experience with Pokemon as well. What, what about you as someone who's played the mainline Pokemon games? Uh, look, I, kind of, I really yeah. like roguelites, but this really isn't clicking for me yet. Yeah. And do you think it's, do you think it's the fact that it's kind of overly simplistic? I mean, I know it might open up a bit more as it goes on and stuff, but hmm. what do you reckon? Uh, it feels like there are different moves and stuff, but it does feel really basic. Yeah. And as if there's not like a huge amount of variety in terms of the enemy encounters. At least so far. I guarantee that yeah. that'll expand. But at the same time, like the early game is where it, kind of has to get you hooked especially in a game like this like yeah dead sure. cells is really fast from the get-go and really helps you dive in because that's also roguelite yeah even like a game like rogue legacy which i've played is sort of like a similar vibe one of the earlier modern roguelites thunder wave cave again admittedly i was already quite sick of the same dungeon I was <laughs> yeah well I was thinking that actually as well is, uh, again, it's obviously early days, but just in terms of the actual terrain as well. But there's maybe more variety later on. Yeah. Really soon. Because that can be a big thing too, hey, when you're more, when obviously the crux of it is just exploring these dungeons. Big part of it is how kind of visually interesting they are. Hmm. I'm like, I'm already, you've been playing this for less than an hour and I'm already bored at the first time. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't hand in any of my money. Means I'm at risk of losing all my money, but that's alright. What is this job, Tarsus with? Um, uh, save Plasti. Uh huh. Oh, Plasti, I remember what I used to call it. So, she is, or he is surrounded by Electabuzz. Electric Ella Kid and Voltor. 
We don't have to kill the Voltor. I mean, faint him. I think we are killing them in this. Yeah, it seems that way. <laughs> but they're wanting to use euphemisms. <laughs> they yeah. Oh no, he fainted. Like Die, tragedy. <laughs> yeah. Max Ether. Hey, you had to give up a resource for you, you little sh Job completed! Thank you so much. No, I don't. Oh, nice. Almost got caught. Yes, what do we get? Pretty box. I don't like when they're not a pretty box. Aha, dragon breath. Wow, that's almost taking a bit of a hit. Level up. Uh, 45 health, 17 attack. Yeah, leveled up. Two pretty boxes. I have all the prettiest boxes. Uproar. Level 3. Pidgey's waiting for an orange berry, which is right next to Pidgey. Oh, a minor, a minin. I didn't realize it had two ends. It's sort of funny when you look at Pokemon's names years later. It's like, oh, I was pronouncing that wrong the yeah. entire time. Here you go, Pidgey. So at this point, are you essentially just using, like, in the combat encounters, just your basic attacks, or are you using abilities as well? They're all abilities. I'm just letting you randomly do it because right. at the current point in the game, there's no point, I feel. In being like kind of strategic with how yeah, you I'm, it's just yeah. I'm just wandering through killing everything, so So I don't really need to worry too much. I have a big fight at the moment. Yeah, I'm hitting his A. I know if you hold Z L terrible moves. This is actually quite a big room. Which obviously it randomly generates. So, right. So the sizes are random, which is always the m most interesting part. Like the Avoid does it and stuff like that, but yeah, yeah, it brings novelty. The Avoid has a lot more going for it though, with loot and skills, and you know, mm. it can be quite difficult at times. Obviously, the Pokemon games are marketed at kids, so. Yeah. It's always something you have to keep in mind. And wave cave. Oh, we're actually fighting. Okay. Yeah, like enemy defeated. Oh, that was a big hit, actually. Hmm. Ta. Okay, so that was a max ether which I gave to Pidgey before, which means I've replenished what I lost. Right. You are. Yep. Pikachu. Pikachu level. Level seven. Can do even better now. That's very Pokemon. Play nice. Oh, it's the only attack. Hey, what? I'm not gonna. I mean, yes. Now, all right, we need to go get to Pidgey. Oh, yeah, what's well, Pidgey? My memory is not garbage. Go team. There we go. That was a bit weird, but <laughs> could get help up the badge. Okay, I only had two. A rainbow gummy and another <laughs> ticket. Thank you for delivering a maxi for this is your reward. The same thing back. <laughs> dun, dun. Pidgey. Seeding some money. 
and save some money. Almost got that right. Close. <laughs> so that's more or less almost the first hour of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. DX, whatever the other one was. Yeah, Rescue Hunters DX. Rescue, Rescue. Yeah. I think it was Rescue Hunters, Rescue Team DX. Yeah. That's what it was. Something like that, you get the idea. So, I've been Mitch Rumi, has been Callum. Thank you. This has been what we just said it is. It's been a quick save video. If you liked it, do all the YouTube stuff, you know what to do by now. And um, if you want to see more Super Mystery Dungeon stuff, probably go somewhere else, because we're probably not going to play any more of it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Bye. It's very fitting for what they're going to be doing. Rescuing people. Saving people. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, makes logical sense.